because the environment of the mind shoot it's very dangerous to be not be alert to be not be like alert all the time it means it's a problem how did you manage your fatigue before prison was introduced i was normally i was just working 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 was at this time i was alone just like when they call out at night i must come back come at 12 leave at maybe at 3 come back the next morning about 5 o'clock i must come back or 6 o'clock just come back to the mine and uh, i was like tired but my body said i'm not i'm fine i for me itself it feel like i was fine and then as soon as that introduced the prison units then only then i realized no man i'm a rest for myself The Alertometer, the app that tests individual alertness levels for situations that demand high levels of awareness. But the real power of the Alertometer is its capability to stream information to a monitored database at company headquarters in real time. There, supervisors and safety managers like Phil can harness the power of its networking capabilities, making dynamic management decisions about company safety. After establishing a baseline, employees are required to log in and take the test regularly. If they pass their safety threshold, they're ready to go. As a result, safety managers like Phil can breathe a sigh of relief. Ah. McDonald is uh, one of the miners here at the Colabella mine. He's going to show us how he uses the uh, Okay, just going to check my fatigue alertness now. You might be using this fatigue uh, unit to test my alertness. I slept for more than 6 hours yesterday night. Okay, I'm going to do my alertness now. So I would just let you know that uh, the, the the alertness test that uh, Don was doing right now is made up of uh, different shapes on the checkerboard screen. and there's a uh, hundred different shapes randomly selected and he has to just choose whether they're all the same or one is different so it's a yes or no test in this case there's 30 screens that he has to complete okay my score now is 24 which matches very well with my baseline can you show us your baseline my baseline is 22 okay very good. so the system shows now that I'm got it I think some of the strongest things in the past have been where the mines have started uh, educating children at a young age. It's like outside the mine in their um, what was it before you were saying the lifestyle what class the life yes, the life orientation the life orientation class. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a perfect fit for stuff. So it's what we chose in the Northern Cape, and so we had different books that were put into people's um, um, in their own. Um, Uh, languages so it swana zulu afrikaans and i know there's 11 indigenous languages here but when the actual guys grew up actually learning what the words were what fatigue was by the time they got to age 18 or 19 and were actually working on the mine it wasn't much of a transition it's kind of like if i was to learn about ergonomics or something like that if i didn't know what the word was but by the time i had it in school for 20 years by the time i'm a mine employee then the awareness is there along with the technologies Some time ago we identified fatigue as one of the major contributors to our safety incidents. We decided we had to do something drastic. And in the process of investigating what can be done regarding fatigue and specifically fatigue education, they realized that the children at home is a big lever that they can pull and make sure that if the children understand fatigue, know what to do, they can influence the parents. We've had this um, funny thing about the children, a child is a dad or a parent's conscience. If they tell you to do something parents normally listen so that is where everything started off when the mine started in 2008 it was it's a new mine so there was no all the guys that got employed was from all over the northern cape and none of them was used to shift work so we've identified it that to teach the guys to start to work shift work that's going to be a challenge one of our managers children that got the training they told their dad one night you're still working at 11 o'clock so the next morning they asked him So till when did you work? And they added up on their little fingers and said, "Well, then you definitely didn't got eight hours sleep. Then you aren't allowed to go to work. You're going to be tired." So that's the the impact that children have, and that is why we decided to educate the families too.